Hello, my amazing art friends. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the element of art, form. Form means that it is three-dimensional. So that could be a 3D shape, it could be a sculpture, but it has to have height, length, and width. So you can see it all the way around. An example of a form would be like this sculpture right here. It has length, it has height, and it also has width. And I can see it all the way around. So our paper is flat, it's two dimensional. And we can draw things there and make them look 3D, but unfortunately we can't actually make them 3D. So we're going to try and give the illusion that our work, our artwork is three dimensional today by giving highlights and shadows. So you can see where the light is reflecting off of my sculpture, it creates an area that's lighter, which is our highlight. And then in other areas, it's darker, which is the shadow. So we can make our art look 3D, like it has form on our paper by using highlights and shadows. So we're gonna be looking at the artist Jeff Koons and his balloon dog and try and create our very own today. So let's get started. Jeff Koons. Jeff Koons was born in 1955 in York, Pennsylvania. He is a sculptor, painter, and illustrator. Today, he lives and works in New York City. And Jeff Koons is famous for his reproductions of everyday objects like balloon animals. We are gonna be looking at his balloon dog. His balloon animal sculptures are made of stainless steel and have a mirror reflective finish. His balloon dog orange sold for $58.4 million, making it the most expensive artwork by a living artist today. Here are some of his other balloon animals, a swan, rabbit, and a monkey. He also makes balloon dog paintings. And so you can see he makes it look 3D by adding highlights and shadows. So we are going to make our own balloon dog today. To make our balloon dog, you're gonna to need to get a couple of things to start. You'll need a colored sheet of paper. Remember, if you don't have a colored sheet of paper, you can always color one. Um, you'll need an oval template. So I just cut an oval shape out of another piece of paper. That way all of my ovals can be the same size. And then with a crayon or marker, a darker color of the colored paper you have and white. And so we are gonna make our balloon dog trying to make them look three dimensional. And to do that, we're gonna give them highlights and shadows. But first, we have to make all the different parts of our balloon dog. So we'll need six ovals. So with your oval tracer, hold it, and with your pencil, just go around and trace it six times. Now that I have the six ovals for my balloon dog, you'll need two more shapes. You'll need a long, skinny rectangle that will be for balloon dog's tail and also a sideways triangle for his nose. All right, so once you have all of your shapes laid out, we're going to give our balloon dog the highlights and shadows. Remember, when the light reflects off of something, it makes it look lighter. And so I'm gonna turn my paper and I'm gonna add a white highlight on the top of each of my um, ovals, or I can keep it this way and make it on the left side. So left for the L. So I'm gonna follow the inside and give a highlight on the left of each of my ovals with the white. And then I'm gonna keep it the same way with my tail. I'll put a white line on the left side and a white line on the top of my triangle. Okay, so now I have my highlight, but I also need my shadow. So the shadow is gonna be on the opposite side, so it'll be on the right. And I'm gonna add a curved line with the darker color of my paper to make the shadow. And same thing, I'll do it on the bottom of my triangle and the right side of my tail. This is all we're gonna be doing today. If you want to, you can go ahead and cut out all of your shapes and save them in a Ziploc bag, or you can wait till next time to cut them out and assemble our balloon dog together. I hope you guys have so much fun. Happy creating.